Today has been an insanely bad day for all of the late night hosts that we are all annoyed at at this point. People like Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon, all of these different people who have gone so incredibly woke and so off the deep end into cringe that nobody wants to watch them anymore. But today they just got even worse news that has landed them in very hot water. So late night hosts are shutting down immediately after Writers Guild strike called. So basically, and I talked about this in a video already, but there's this insane writer's strike that is happening in Hollywood today. It just started today, and this is going to be very, very detrimental to the future of Hollywood. You can go check out my video on that if you want to, but basically, because of that, all of the late night shows are shutting down immediately. This is very, very bad for them. You even have Stephen Colbert, who is having to deal with this, so quiet on the set. How do you instantly silence the late night talk show hosts and their guests? Easy. Take away the writers who provide the words to so much of what they say and how they interact and let's just be honest a lot of those writers are not that great in the first place i think that a lot of these people's shows are just awful just completely horrible they're not funny they're just super cringe and uh lacking in a lot of talent let's say and i think that is something that, that we can all agree on when it comes to these late night hosts so I think that this is actually turning out to be a really good thing. Nightly talk shows include The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon, and all of the rest. Far left Jimmy Kimmel and Stephen Colbert will be amongst those hardest hit because they rely on vast teams of writers to craft their nightly monologues. And those are going away. They are going bye-bye. Deadly report, Deadline reports that they are not alone. Seth Meyers... And The Daily Show. So you have so many of these different people. John Oliver, Bill Maher. Yikes. The Late Show, Jimmy Kimmel Live, The Tonight Show, Late Night, and The Daily Show are all expected to pivot to reruns according to Deadline. So there you go. You can watch crappy stuff from the past from these guys. By the way, all of their names, there's nothing original about any of these guys' names. Like, holy crap. What a, what a complete mess their names are they all sound exactly the same it's so ridiculous but anyway with all this being said this is actually a, a w in my opinion this is a very big w for the american people and uh honestly it just is one less cringy thing that we have to worry about that is on tv these days but uh i don't know what where this whole thing is going to go when it comes to the writer strike i don't know exactly what the outcome of, of it is going to be but this could be something that is absolutely detrimental to even these guys and that is saying quite a bit i mean I mean, this, this is just absolutely insane. And the crazy thing about all of this that we are seeing right now is that the access media is being completely impacted by what is happening in Hollywood. And we're seeing this across the board. We're seeing so many of these different mainstream media outlets that are either shutting down or laying off a lot of people. And it's happening across the board when it comes to the mainstream media, when it comes to Hollywood. And meanwhile, people like me and so many of my other peers on YouTube are continuing to thrive. And things like Epicverse are growing and thriving as well and this is all absolutely fantastic things as we are seeing this cultural shift happening so with that being said let me know what you think about all this in the comments below leave a like subscribe and i'll talk to you all in another video very soon